Calderwood takes possession and Matteo made sure that uh, he felt that tackle. The crowd didn't like it. And England have just got to keep their heads now and see, see it out for the last five minutes here because... I think the Tongans are just getting a little bit frustrated. Oh, swinging arm from Tyrone Smith. But this is this is good to spot it, the England players now. It will see if they can keep the contact posure at this level. When everything, including the kitchen sink, is being thrown at them, just keep your composure and ask them to look at the scoreboard. And again, Richard Silverwood asks for the Tongan captain and with Solomon and Mono off the field. We've got four minutes left. Here. Okay, not afraid to send anybody off. Okay, calm down. It's a loose pass, but it's picked up by Purdom well, and Rob Purdom just losing his footing. And another penalty, and they were charging in late there. Tackles, the tackle's completed as soon as the hands lay on him, yes? It's for the flop. The peony player there, he flopped on him after the tackle was completed. Purdom did a really good job picking the loose ball up. He went to ground, a hand was laid him, that's when the tackle's completed, and Payer came in and flopped, so he can't really expect anything else. Well, this is, There's it completed, and there's a flop. This is a, a disappointing finale for this Tongan side, because they've done really well to get to this Federation Field final. Nobody was anticipating, it's on again, and again there was a, a high challenge, and Fifi Moy Moy wants some of that, and there's an England player getting... beaten up at the bottom of a scrum, and everybody's having a scrap. And Ryan Bailey having a go away on the far side, and Richard Silverwood could do with just blowing the final whistle. Yes, yeah, a very disappointing end. This so, so Not Calderwood having a little set two with Valetti Matteo. Okay. Totally caused by one side, no doubt about it. Absolutely disgraceful discipline. And the crowd not liking it either, and that was just vindictive from the Tongan side. And then Fufu Moi Moi deciding to take things into his own hands. Well, you fear for your own safety when you're at the bottom of something like that. Jamie Jones Buchanan, and then Lee Rapids there. 17. And he's getting second. 17. And let's hope he does what he should have done perhaps five minutes ago. Well, only about five minutes ago, maybe. A lot earlier in the proceedings. I think Sam Moa is going to see red. We've seen plenty of yellow. It is a red for Sam Moa. And he still wants some more. And the Tongan players. And Stuart Wilkinson, the uh, Paul Cullen's assistant coach, is on the field there. And I think just telling his players just to take a step back. A calm head. Well, in a red-hot atmosphere. Just kick for goal and take the minute and a half up doing that. That's the best thing that they could do. And Lee Radford, I think, um, might get a talking to here because the uh, judge and jury are still sitting out there. You know, there's not much more that man could have done. He's put two players in the sin bin and a couple no, of no, times there. Player is in the sin bin. Well, go off as well. And this, Solomon Amaro, the captain, who, you know, he wasn't on the field. Now, whether it's an amazing decision to field of play, who the captain? I think he came onto the field of play when captain, he was from the sideline. But uh, that would certainly will yeah, be a talking been, point. He's off the field and he's been running on and going both. Well, there he's he's going on the court. Silverwood. That is for England. Tonga, captain Solomon Amono, who I think was poised to come on the field by the look of things, he was holding his second eight number. And then he's got involved in this. Like, and so he's, he's left with no option. And still the Tongan players are looking for some action. And once more the touch judge is on. And this is just turning into an absolute farce. Well, that might be the reason they don't play at the very best level. And they've not won any friends. They've won plenty of admirers getting to this final. But I'm afraid that they've done themselves a big disfavour in the last five minutes here.